Good morning, everybody. Um, so this week I have some more books about imagination and things you can do by yourself when you're playing by yourself or at home. Um, and this one is called Nighttime Ninja. It's by Barbara DaCosta and the art is by Ed Young. The clock struck midnight. Hand over hand, the ninja climbed and clambered. Now you might be thinking, I'm not a ninja. I don't live in an old city. What's Miss Haley talking about? This is something I can do. Keep watching. Step by step, he balanced and leapt. The house was silent. twisting moonlit hallway and knelt in the dark shadows listening wait look he took out his tools and went to work what's he working on suddenly the lights flashed on are you doing thundered his mother <gasps> nothing hand it over mister but i'm not done with my mission yet well how about a getting back into bed mission sweet dreams nighttime ninja I'm not saying that you should get out of bed and start taking things that you're not supposed to have. But I did think it was cool how the little child in that book pretended like they were a ninja and they had a whole really different setting in their mind of where they were. And they used things like his stuffies and things around the house to make him feel like, or I don't actually know what they say, to make the child feel like they were a ninja. The other day in our morning meeting, Brooklyn was dressed up like a princess. Maybe more people will dress up as characters today. I know some of you like to pretend to be animals or dinosaurs um, or Sonic. Um, so maybe you could either dress up as something and take a picture and send it in or draw a picture of yourself dressed up as something and send it in.